Hi, welcome back to Mr. Stewart's Lessons. We have been working on a scrolling platform game, which if you want to see it so far, you can go to MrStewart'sLessons.com and download it if you haven't already been working on it. Uh, today we're actually going to make the screen, uh, make a character move with scrolling. Um, usually people would say, oh, let's make it move normally and then we'll add the scrolling, but you guys are here for the scrolling, so let's get it started. So first thing we're going to need to do is add an actor. We'll add a new subclass, and we'll call him. We'll pick the this smiley guy just for for fun. You can pick whoever you want. I'm going to call him Ball Guy. So. We already have a method that we created up here in the sky world called shift screen. And uh, here's the shift screen method right here. Um, basically, it's going to change the left bound and right bound of the screen and change the top bound and bottom bound of the screen. So uh, it's going to actually so it, so uh, it's going to actually move the screen. So for example, if I say if I shift the screen 50 to the 50 to the right and uh, zero to the top. You're actually going to see this happen. Watch the screen move. There's my screen moving. That's shifting. So all I need to do is call this method from the ball guy. So I'm going to create, I'm going to create a modified version of the set location. Um, but I'm actually going to, I'm not going to call it set location. I'm going to call it something else because we're still going to need to use the regular set location later on. So I'm going to call this Set location with scroll. So I'll call it public void set location with uh, and I'm going to give it two arguments just like the regular set location method which is uh, the new x coordinate that we want and the new y coordinate. So what we're going to do is I'm going to be passing this uh, arg this m method, the arguments of the new location I want to move on the screen. But instead of moving my actor, it's going to move the whole screen instead. In other words, it's going to scroll. So what I'm going to do, let's do an open curly bracket and a closed curly bracket to create uh, space for my method. So we're going to need to call the shift screen method from the sky world. That means I need to get the sky world so I can reach it. And it has to be classed as a sky class of variable instead of just a world class of variable. Because if I class it as just a world class of variable, I can do anything that the world class can do, but not specifically what the sky class can do. So I'm going to have to... Uh, set a variable of the sky class, which is the type of, right, uh, sky is the uh, type of world we have here. Um, and I'm going to say, uh, call it my sky for just the name of the variable. Now, normally we just do get world. Now, the thing is, if I say get world, it's just going to get a world class of variable, not a sky class of variable. So I have to do something called typing. So I'm going to, and I've, we've done this a, a couple times before, in parentheses before it, this is how we do this in Java, I, I put sky as the type of it, so it's, it's um, as the type of variable, so it's going to change uh, f change it from a general world class of variable to specifically a sky class of variable, which means we can use the methods in the sky class, specifically shift screen. Now I need to know how much I'm going to shift it, how much I'm going to change the world, right? And um, so this is our new x and our new y coordinate. Um, and we need to basically, we're going to shift it by however uh, much it's changed from the original, from the current x and the current y. So I'm going to create a variable of how much I'm going to shift the world. And I'm going to call it y shift. So this is how much the world's going to move up or down. So it's going to be the new y, which got passed to us up here which is the new location, the new y coordinate we want, minus the uh, current y, which we get by get y, the get y method. Now we're going to do the same thing for the x. 
So we're going to get the, take the new x coordinate we want, and we're going to subtract the current x. Sorry, I forgot to make that y capital. These need to be capital letters. Okay. So this is how. So this x shift and y shift is how much the screen is going to move. And now it's pretty easy. We just have to pass this x shift and y shift to the shift screen method so that it can move the screen by that much. So I'm going to say my sky, which is the variable we created that represents the world that has this method. Then I'll do shift screen, and you'll notice if I hit control space. There's my shift screen method, which I created in the last lesson. And the two arguments we're going to use, the, the, we're going to change the x amount by the x shift. So I'll just, I can just copy and paste it right here. And I'll change the y amount by the y shift. Um, and this is going to now shift the screen and, and instead of moving my character. So now all we need to do is call the method. So I'm going to uh, put in a simple uh, keyboard command on if greenfoot is key down. And we'll use the left key here in, in this case to move left. Remember to put your two close parentheses on a, uh, after an is key down, one to close the argument and one to close the whole of the if statement. Uh, so we're going to do, so now I want to use the set location with scroll method, which I've created. And you'll notice that that we have the set location with scroll method available here. Now, what we're basically going to do is we're going to take our, we're going to set our location relative to our current. We want to be five to the left because we're moving left, so we want to be five to the left of where we are. So I'll say get x, which is our current location, minus five. And the y, because we're just moving left or right, isn't going to change. So we'll keep get y the same. And then we're going to do the same thing for the right key. So I'll just copy and paste this to save time. So I'll change this to the right. And in the case we're moving to the right, so we'll do plus 5. So, and now I'm going to close this and compile it. So let's put the ball guy in the world. And I'm going to run it. And I'll press my right arrow and I scroll to the right. And I'll press my left arrow and scroll to the left. Next lesson, we'll put in jumping and landing on the platforms. And then we're going to change it so he can move within the screen and it only scrolls when he gets towards the edge. See you next lesson.